So over the last couple of days, I've been following this news story that was regarding a PlayStation 4 save game exploit that was working on PlayStation 4, at least version 12.00. Now, I took a look at the original video, and basically, they're just getting the same exact thing, which I will get, and which I will show you in just a moment. But it does look like, when looking down into this thread a little bit, and then cross-referencing it with the actual Discord and going and looking and seeing, I can confirm that, obviously, all of this is real, now, one of the things that I thought that was interesting in this one was was that Flats was said that it's good that it is Lua 5.1, and it says that it can break the VM and get native code execution through ROP. And I've just rechecked, and my game used Lua 5.2. So this is definitely Lua 5.1, and it does output that when you run it on your system, which I'll run it on my system in just a moment. Now, down in this, we did see a little bit more information coming from Flats, but the biggest hurdle that we have to solve right here today is, is that for at least with PlayStation 5, in order to copy that save over, that does have to be activated. And obviously, most of us do not have a PSN-activated PS5 that at least is capable of running Homebrew. So it looks like for now, this is going to be something that will be very interesting for the PlayStation 4, and especially with that 12.00 firmware. Now, over on Reddit, they released the PS4 save game exploit, and they said that this is the proof of concept for running Lua script from save data. And then there was a note here, being able to run Lua script does not mean we have full user land exploit. To run syscall from libkernel, we need to break out from Lua. And this is exactly where that rope chaining that we heard just a second ago would be very useful and hope someone else can do that. Obviously, there is quite a number of folks that we know that can do this. Now, one thing that has been very interesting as we've unfolded all of this is figuring out which games use this certain engine. These are the cool games, so if you can get a physical copy, I think that's always the best thing to do. Okay, so how do you get started with this? Well, it's pretty easy. We're going to go to the official repo, we're going to go to code, and we are going to click on download zip. Once that downloads, go ahead and connect a USB drive to your PC or Mac. And on your drive, the very first thing that I have is the Raspberry Cube fake package, and then there's a folder called PS4, and then inside of that is Apollo, And then I just copied both of those saves. It came right over here from this folder right here. So both of those were just copied into this folder. Now you will need to get Apollo save tool if you haven't already. And obviously you can get that through a number of sources such as PKG zone. Now I've went ahead on my PlayStation 4 and installed Apollo save tool. So let's go ahead and let's get to work. Okay, so I am over here on my PlayStation 4 that is sitting on 9.00. I've already loaded Gold Hen and I have attached a USB drive to my PlayStation 4. And what it really has on there is the Raspberry Cube PKG as well as it has that save game information. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and install the PKG. Obviously I'm just gonna install it right here through PS4 Explorer 2.0, but you could always go and install it through debug settings. So we're gonna do an L2 and X here, and we'll go ahead and get that installed to our systems. Now do keep in mind, obviously with this, you're gonna need a jailbroken PS4 in order to do any of these steps. Okay, so while that is going ahead and being installed, you will need to install Apollo Save Tool. So 
make sure that you have Apollo Save Tool already installed or install it if you don't have it. Once we get Apollo Save Tool opened up here. Okay, so once we are inside of Apollo Save Tool, we're gonna go to USB Saves. And as you can see, right there is the USB save, and we know that by the number 16074. So let's press X on that. And what we're going to do here is we are going to copy the save game to the hard disk drive. So we'll hit X there. Okay, it looks like it copied it. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and close back out of this. So let's go ahead and launch it. I have no idea what type of game this is. Okay, there it goes. Lua Injection, success. Lua version 5.1, pretty cool, pretty cool. So let's go ahead and press okay here. And yeah, the Lua socket is not available. Okay, and then zero, unable to open the file test.txt. Okay, so that is really, really, really interesting. So what we can see here is that we absolutely have a way that we can inject a Lua script in a couple of these certain games that's out right now. Okay, so that is pretty cool, and that's just kind of where we're at right now. Now, apparently, this does work on 12.00, but I'm not exactly sure because I don't have one of those systems where I can test this myself. Anyway, thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out. Post-editing Michael here. I did see while I was looking at the GitHub repo that I didn't see earlier was, was that there was a recommendation that if you have access to the PlayStation Store, and really more specifically a Japanese PlayStation account, then you can buy the trial version to test it. Now, this is uh, the link to it down here at the bottom, and if you go to it, obviously if you have a Japanese account, then you would be able to add this and download this trial. Now, this will not work at all for folks that say, for example, in the United States or Europe, if you try to download it from one of those accounts, it will not let you download it. So I did want to give you a bit of a quick heads up from that. And that the reason that at least the author stated that they picked this Raspberry Cube game was because it was the easiest physical disc that they could obtain. So it doesn't look like there was any other specific reason out of that list of physical games that I showed you a little bit earlier. Anyway, I hope this little bit of extra information helps.